Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, my name's Gary, AKA The Plastic Boy, and today we are doing 2019 favorite makeup products done by moi, myself. I've created this look, what do you think? It's like a cranberry bad bitch, highlighted, dewy, but matte skin look. And if you wanna see how I achieved this look, keep on watching, mwah. <laughs> So hey guys, we're gonna start off with my 2019 favorites. Everyone has been doing this video and I just thought, why not just do it before January ends? Because sis, this month is moving way too fast. Like what is going on guys? It's almost February and I haven't really the mood. But anyway, so um, let's get right into it. So one of my favorite moisturizers of the year of 2019 would have to be the Waleda Skin Food. This is such a bomb product. It's so, so good. Um, it's only like 9 dollars on Amazon. And it just gives your skin that's such like, you know, we're fine, cute glow like my skin, but better. Um, I only put it in certain areas. It is a really, an intense hydrating cream, but I put, I just kind of put it in like spots like the cheekbones, the cheeks, and then kind of use whatever excess around the nose, but it's such a cute moisturizer. So now it's primer time, and obviously you guys are gonna know which primers I'm gonna use. I forgot to, I forgot to use this in my hyped makeup of 2019 video, so it has to be the Milk Hydro Grip. If you haven't used this primer, definitely try and get a mini one. This primer is so good. The trick is you just like use a little bit like that warm up in the hand and just press it onto the skin. Um, I feel like with this primer, if you use too much stuff with it, it can make other products roll. But when I met up with Milk and I was in LA, my friends, they said, put the primer on and leave it on for one minute and then obviously it won't make other products roll. But um, what I kind of um, mix it with, I normally use two primers and these are my two favorites. And these are the primers that I've just been using throughout all 2019. And this is the Marc Jacobs Undercover Primer. And um, it's really, really cute. They do it in mini sizes, but I just love this primer. Um, makeup Shayla kind of plugged this on when she kind of used it in a video. And I just love it. Like I put it in my T-zone mostly. I don't put it anywhere where I put the hydro grip because I just know that it's gonna roll, but I just love this primer. Mm, and obviously, if you are new to my channel, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Gary, the aka The Plastic Boy. Don't forget to subscribe and also make sure you follow me on Instagram. I've actually just started a new series on my IGTV and it's called Hashtag Foundation Fridays where I, re where I review foundations every Friday and put them to the test. So make sure you are following me on that to check that out. Okay, okay so this was a step that was learned by Auntie Jackie Ina and this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I use this to set. I use this to do every damn thing. So I'm gonna set my primer. <clears throat> oh my God, my throat is killing me using the Color Drain sponge just to lock in that primer. We always set our primer, even though I don't do it in every video, I do it in everyday life. And this is just a step that has to be done, especially if you're going to the club to see your baby daddy, you know, in the trap. But I just love doing this step and it's just become a vital part of my 2019 routine. You know, color correcting was a big step. Even though I only got this product quite late, I love it. And this is the Lip Tinted Touch Color Stick by a fellow influencer, Deepika. This corrector is one of the best correctors I've ever used. What I, What is that like, good about these that you can use them like in the eye, not in the eyes, on the eyes, on the lips. They're multi-purpose, but I use this shade as a corrector. I actually really, really like it. Um, she does other shades, which are lighter and obviously to other skin tones but this corrector since i've got it i just haven't stopped using it it's so good i feel like especially if you're deeper skin tones corrector is just going to make your foundation look super super flawless it's foundation time i can't sing so foundation this year there were so many foundation launches what in the complexion was going on this year? Like, we had new complexions from NARS, we had new complexions from Urban Decay, we had Lauder, we had so many. So I just had two foundations and one of them's pretty new, but I've been using it on and off consistently. And this would be the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. Um, I've just done a review on this on my Instagram TV for my first Foundation Friday series. Check it out, it's so bomb. But obviously I'm gonna have to use my Pride and True the Queen E.L. Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is my pride and true. She's been with me to holidays. She's been with me to funerals, breakups, 
everywhere. I just feel like, oh, I just love her. This is in the shade um, Deep Amber. Um, I like this a bit darker just because when I highlight and stuff, it does look quite pretty. I'm gonna use my um, Color Drain sponge and really just pat that in. I like this applied with a sponge just because it is quite full coverage and I think the sponge just kind of gives it more of a natural finish. Um, with this foundation, there's so many shades. Like, don't get Estelada twisted. Estelada have 60 shades in this foundation, but it's just not really spoken about that much. But Estelada are so inclusive. This year, I got to go away with them so much. I went to Ibiza with them been to a few events with them and I just love them. The whole FLR team are just so nice. And I just feel like this foundation just, it just says what it does. Like it's like um, water resistant, heat proof. It's really good if you're going to a hot country or live somewhere quite hot. It's just so damn good. Okay, so with concealer, it just has to be my NARS Radiant Cream Concealer in Cafe. I love this, I've tried so many shades in the, um, Radiant Creamy Concealer line, and I just love Cafe the most. I feel like I always put it on before I put on a brightening concealer, just because it's really just gonna, I don't know, even though I'll put color corrector on, I just feel like this concealer just does something to my under eyes and my skin. It kind of like auto like even corrects, and then it just does, it like judges my skin up, it's so nice. I put some on my top lip and on my chin, just because when I sweat, the foundation stuff normally comes off around there first, so this is kind of like extra reinforcement i just love the hell out of this concealer if you haven't used this then sis where have you been like this concealer is so bomb they do it in minis as well so you can obviously try it before you buy it the full size guys i would love to know some of you guys 2019 favorite products as well because it might be a product i've never ever used because um i was asking people oh my god what products did you love in 2019 and some people were saying some foundation i was just like when did that come out like do you know what i mean so i never consider that i love to highlight would have to be this one. This is the, my most used concealer ever. I can't even say anything else, like the shape tape, everything else, I just don't use them as much. This concealer, it's super hydrating, but you have to leave it on the skin and use a fan, just so it dries down, just so you get that more beautiful finish. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the applicator, and then I just do some down here. This is full coverage, which I love. And I feel like chestnut's the most perfect Golden highlight just for a deeper skin tone. It's so pretty. This is actually almost finishing. You hear it? It's literally almost finishing, which is so annoying. These last for so... I think I've had this for like maybe nine months, but they last very, very long. I'm actually going to take my fan now. So what you need to do is you need to dry this concealer for about maybe a minute. And then, it just, then you have a bit more control because I feel like this concealer, because it's very slippery. So if you blend it out straight away, it's going to go everywhere. So definitely um, fan it down. Just going to blend that out using that sponge. So you just blend out so much more controlled. And it's just really cute. You're just going to do like a little dab dab here and a little dab dab there. Okay. Guys, I just can't believe it's 2020 still. It's so, like, baffling to me. Like, I just feel like, you know, when you grow up and you just hear, like, 2020, you just think, what in the flying cars is going on? But obviously none of that's, what well, we're here yet. But it's just, you know, 2020. So I'm just going to cream contour now. And I feel like this product was, like, one of the most outstanding products to come out for 2019. And it is the Huda Beauty Tan Tour. And this is in the shade Tan. Um, the names are quite misleading. So when I normally hear Tan, I would never think that's my shade. But... They do one called Rich, and Rich was a kind of, it's a tiny bit dark for me. I've done a review on these, so I try and insert a card in there, but Rich looked a bit purple on me, which you all came for me for. So, um, tan is just a bit more of a nicer color. I'm literally just gonna go high with this. What's amazing about this is it dries to a powder, which is like so cute. So, you can leave it on the skin for a bit. It doesn't dry down really fast, which is obviously a plus as well. But um, the way this blends out on the skin, and I feel like, <coughs> oh my God, I'm choking. Huda really came through with the colors for the deeper skin tones. That's all I'm gonna say. Huda came through, it's just because the shades in this are amazing, honestly. Just gonna blend that out. I think this brush was one that came with the Tantor. I did that review ages ago, so this must have came out like just before summer. Cause it's supposed to be like a cream bronzer, but it's more like a contour on me, but I do set this for a bronzer, which I'll get into in a minute. But have you guys noticed, yeah, 
I haven't done my brows first. And I always used to do my brows first, but I'm not sure why I didn't. It was just, I tried to make different. And then I feel like when I do my brows after my base, it just looks better. I'm not sure why. I feel like when I have no makeup on, and I try and do my brows, I do them quite harsh. My brows are quite bold and harsh anyway, but I feel like they look more harsh when I don't do them when I have no base on. But guys, can you see how this is blending out? Hada, shut 2019 down with her launches. Shut down. So another product that I just feel like came out and people didn't really speak about it, but I only love these for under the eye. I've actually, I've used it on the face, but I feel like under the eye, they're just beautiful. And these are the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder and Spice Rum. I think these are the extended shade versions of Jackie Ina's colors as well. So I just take this Smashbox brush and I kind of press it under the eye so it kind of prepares it for a kind of mini bake. But I just love this powder so good. I do feel like the colors and the powders are a bit light though because Spice Rum in the foundation is much darker. So the names kind of confuse me. So if you are going to get this powder, definitely go into store if you want one for the face because that's not Spice Rum in the foundation color. Like Spice Rum has a bit more red to it. So the powders don't correlate with the foundations. But this powder... Oh my god. Can you guys guess what under eye powder I'm gonna use? So I actually made my own powder, mixing powders, but I'm not gonna put this in this video because it's not fair because it's four powders which are quite expensive. So if I had to choose one powder, one that I would use for the rest of my life under the eyes to brightening, it would have to be How to Beauty Easy Bake in Kunafa. I have used this in mostly all my videos throughout 2019. Such a bagging powder. I'm not sure what it is with this powder, but it's just, it's like liquid chocolate. It's just amazing. Smells good. It obviously has a fragrance to it, but I don't mind it. But I literally take my beauty blender and then I just kind of like, I kind of like, not bake. I do bake a bit, but I just put like a tiny bit down. I'll go like that. Put on top of the lip. And then I'm going to press it in. I don't sweep away because I find that messes up my concealer. And then I'll just do like a little mini bake like that and then we can wipe it off after. So bronzer was a hard one because there were so many bronzers. There was Fenty, no, yeah, there was Fenty Makamami. There was Hula Toasted and those Prime Beauty bronzers. And I feel like the most outstanding one for me was Prime Beauty, just because it had never like, I've never seen a brand really bring out deeper skin skin tone bronzers. And Prime Beauty did it so beautifully that obviously for Fenty Beauty then benefit. But look, I'm almost pan on it because I love it so much. And this is in the shade Brownsville. What I normally do, because these are quite pigmented, I kind of like tap and then kind of buff it on. But this formula is so nice. And then I'll probably go on top with like Toasted by Benefit or like Fenty just to add a bit more, you know, jazam. But these by themselves are so nice. They're really nice on the eyes and the crease as well if you're going to have like a natural eyeshadow day. But these bronzers are just amazing and it warm to the skin i just love them guys and a lot of you guys bought them because of my video and obviously like someone else used them as well i think it might have been yuki or oh, i know jackie used them as well but someone else used them so i don't really do my brows on camera just because they take so long to do so i'm gonna use the nars um brow perfect in lava the nars eyebrow pencils are amazing so good i've just been using this one and Obviously the glossy brow flick, so I'm gonna do my brows quickly off camera, but these are the two products that I've been using. So I've done my brows. Um I don't know, I just feel like I never show my brows because everyone's brows are personal to them. So if you wanna see a brow tutorial, comment down below, sweetie. So obviously my favorite palette of 2019. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Hey! Look how much that is used and abused. Perfect palette for a deeper skin tone, easy. I bring this palette with me everywhere. I just feel like it's just so banging. So I'm gonna start with um, Ginger, just as a transition color. So pretty. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy, but I'm actually just gonna do what I would normally do every day. I just love Ginger. So I'm just gonna take edges, well, no, I don't say edges, credit. I literally just tap it in these corners here. Like, and kind of like a little V shape and bring it into the crease 
just to create a bit of definition. What I like about this palette, it doesn't have like, obviously it doesn't have a black, but I feel like sometimes brown is just so much more sexier, especially on chocolate skin. It just doesn't look as intense. And then I'm gonna blend that out. Love this color. So I'm gonna apply some Wigalese just on the lid. I love this color, just to wear it by itself. It's kind of like a really easy eyeshadow look. I know some people might be afraid of these colors, but these complement deeper skin tones so much i kind of love this color on my eye it's just it's so striking oh i cannot cope so this is why i love this palette it's because it's so versatile you can create like really cool warm looks really natural and neutral looks it's just so pretty okay whoa i feel like this look went very extreme so fast so on the bottom lash line i used credit and edges and um, that color and the dark brown um, I used the NARS eyeliner in, what's this brown colour called? Um, it's called Last Frontier. And I thought I'd just use a brown to make it a bit more smoky because this makes it a bit more intense. But you can really see why I love this palette. And my favourite lashes have to be Dolt Beauty. Um, these are the shade, um, shade, start with Anastasia. My favourite are Danielle, but Anastasia are the closest I can find in my drawer. So I'm going to pop these on so we can continue. Okay, so I've just put the lashes on. The lashes look gorgeous, but obviously I'm going to blend them in with my natural lashes with some mascara. So I'm going to have to use a setting spray because my face looks a tiny bit powdery, a bit, you know. So I'm going to use my favourite setting spray ever. The Morphe Continuous Setting Spray is just... Oh, so bomb. I remember when I first ever tried it, I was so amazed. It's more of a like, you know, melting powders into the skin than a setting spray, but it just makes your skin look so refreshed and so moist. So base is looking good, all set. So I've actually fell in love with fan brushes again. I actually bought this one. This is from Makeup Forever. I actually love and obviously, oh, guys, if I could think of one highlight that's obviously got me through 2019, Milk Highlighter in Glazed, and this is one of the Flex ones. This is the only highlighter I've been using. I feel like the other ones make my texture shot on my cheeks. So I just feel like this one is just banging. I'm just gonna take a fan brush and literally just, ooh, can you just see that? And like, it just blends out like a dream. You don't need that much. And then I'll just take it up. It's so beautiful. And you see, you can literally keep blending and blending and it will just melt into the skin. And when you put a setting spray over it, it just looks banging. I don't really wear blush yet, but I've been loving their Patricia Revolution collab. And this is quite new. It did come out before Christmas. Um, it's just a blush I've been reaching for. I don't have a favorite blush of 2019. But since I've been using this color, this blush is just so nice for blending your highlight and contour together. I'm actually just gonna dab that there. And it kind of gives your face a bit more colour as well. Because sometimes contour and highlight can just be a bit bland. So it's just really nice. And like I can just bring it onto there. Okay, so now it's time for lips. I never, ever used to wear lip liner, ever. I was against it. I was like, I don't want to wear lip liner. I used to just wear the nude lipsticks, like, just by itself. So, obviously, my favourite lip liner has to be the Colourpop and Shader collab. I bought so many of these. I just made an order literally a few days ago just because they're so, so good. And um, BFF4 is just such a nice colour and it's super sharp. I'm just going to use this to define their lips before I put on a nude lipstick. Okay, so for lipstick, there were so many. There was Huda Beauty. I love her um, Power Bullets. Um, I love Board Meeting, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And I just thought there was also Nars Slow Ride, but I couldn't find that anywhere also. But guys, those of colours, their formula's banging. This is in the shade Cork. It's almost finished. And I just found this and I thought, I used to wear this all the time. And it goes perfect with any nude lip. That's going kind of here. He's going to like wait and then... Literally like that. And these do dry down and they're so comfortable and super lightweight. Like the formula is so bomb. Ah, I totally forgot to add a step, guys. So I've been loving a brow soap. Um, I've just been loving it. Brow, um, what are they called? Brow gel things don't really work for me anymore. So this is a brand, it's called Charlie's Brow Soap, but you can get any brow soap. I heard that, um, the original brown brown soap is amazing but this one is just made by some girl like in england but i'll put the link to it down below and this is a clear one but she does do colored ones and what i normally do i use some setting spray it has to have glycerin in it and i'm gonna literally just like comb the brows off like that oh god i've used a tiny bit too much 
And then do it on the neck brow as well. I can't believe I missed this step out because I was like, something looks a bit, something looks flat. It just makes your brows like have a bit of life. But you have to wait till your brows are dry, especially if you're using like a brow pen. But this step is just, see, like, look at my brows now. They look more, you know, like, <clears throat> getting back to the lip. So obviously we have on um, a dose of colors and color pop. So it dries down, it doesn't transfer anything. So the gloss, it was, <sighs> so Fenty Gloss Bomb is always in my heart, but it just didn't win. It's, I just feel like I love it, but it makes my mouth water. I love it by itself, but the gloss I have to choose is the KKW Extinguish. Guys, this is almost finished. Look, it's finished. I did, oh. KKW had um, a $10 sale on the glosses. I'm not on the PR. I bought three. I do not care. This gloss is amazing. It's so good. Look at that. Oh. And the one just kind of blends the lipstick and liner together. It's just so good. This obviously takes some Urban Decay All Nighter. So the look is done. Obviously, I had to end with Urban Decay All Nighter. I've used that setting spray ever since I used to work for the brand, and it's just amazing. What do you guys think of the look? It's a very, um, just like, you know, bad bitch glam look. I love it. Love the eyes, love the brows, love the skin. Everything just looks very me. Like, this is a comfortable makeup look for me. Um, all these products have been in my heart since 2019. I'm, I've used them repeatedly and repeatedly. Is that will work? Repeatedly? And I just love them so much, especially the foundation the eyes everything if you guys have any favorites please share them down below hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i shall see you next time bye guys